Today we're going to look at an eBay listing that I purchased a couple of weeks ago. Uh, here is the listing as it appears today, but uh, it has changed since the time I purchased. So let's go ahead and open that up in a new tab and take a look at what it said uh, back when I purchased it. 10 card baseball lot, three hits, buy three, get one free, no base, $50 book value, baseball or NFL. Uh, price is $9, and so I uh, bought three of them since he promised that I would get a fourth lot for free. So I paid $27 to get 40 cards, or at least that's how it was supposed to work out, but I was also supposed to get 12 hits. Now, I take a hit to mean, you know, a lot of people mean that an autograph or a uh, some kind of jersey card, but a lot of people kind of expand that out to be... Uh, yeah, a rookie card or a, a parallel serial numbered card like that. And uh, so I'm not expecting to get uh, 12 autographs and jersey cards. If that actually was the case, I would be really surprised. But uh, one thing that got me, he's a, a new seller. He's only got, well, when I bought this, it was uh, less than, uh, he only had about 100 uh, feedback when I originally uh, made the purchase here. But um, I, I like what he said in the description here. 10 card lot. All value cards, autos, major rookies, parallels, and other short print relic and variations. There is no need for me to make a guarantee because every card will be a keeper. Please see reviews. Absolutely no commons or low end brands. All current, no junk wax, no junk brands, tops, panini, leaf, that's it. The autos patches will be of current players or star players. Give me a chance to impress you. And, uh, in the listing, I also said um, uh, I prefer baseball over NFL, but um, uh, so hopefully he was able to honor that. There's, I always take a look at some of the, the pictures and a lot of the odds of me getting any of those. I mean, it could happen, but there's a lot of cards in the box there. But he's actually changed this listing a little bit today. It says 10-card uh, lot, two hits, and uh, 10 bonus cards in February. So that's, uh, I haven't even seen that yet, but... Uh, when I looked at this lot just a couple of days ago, it was listed for $11. So uh, it also took two weeks for this to get here. It took a week for him to get to the post office. Um, not really sure what's going on with that. It's probably just a kid. I'll, I'll give him the, the benefit of the doubt on that. Um, but uh, let's. Uh, it came in today, so let's open it up and see what we got. He uh, spent five forty-five for shipping, so uh, after eBay and PayPal fees, he probably made twenty dollars on this. So let us uh, open it up and take a look what's inside. He had perfect feedback when I uh, made the order, and he has gotten one negative feedback uh, since then. So uh, okay, we've got a bunch of loose cards in here, and so we're just going to pull these out. See what we have. Okay, we have a uh, Diamond King of Babe Ruth on this side. Let's see if we can open up here and see what's next. My wife is a Reds fan, so that's the need never heard of Nick Howard or Alex Bandino. So I got a Bowman card. So we've got Freddie Freeman. That's popular here in the uh, Nashville area. Mookie Betts. And I guess that is a, a holiday version with the, uh, the snowflakes up there. Uh, Keston... Hura, rookie debut. Travis Swaggerty, Team USA. So Panini Stars and Stripes. Griffin Canning, Chrome rookie. And then a Marcus Stroman, uh, All Star Game, serial numbered to uh, 2019. So that is. I don't know if that's. There might be more than 40 cards in here. Let's uh, take a look at what we have next. We have got a uh, Trajan Fletcher. On the front. And then Wade Boggs Flashback. What set is this? This is a Panini Crowning Moment. Next we have a uh, uh, nickname variation of Zilla, who, who's uh, Zilla here, Blake Snell. 
We have a uh, Dakota Hudson Gypsy Queen. Corey Kluber Brilliance from uh, Prism. I'm glad to have that since Corey Kluber was traded to my Rangers a couple of months ago. Hopefully he's uh, still got some health to him. Here is an Acuna uh, All-Star Game. Aaron Schunk from the uh, University of Georgia. We have a uh, Panini Prism draft pick of Kyle Stowers. Have a uh, Shoei Otana, uh, Otani from Bowman Chrome. And then another serial numbered Jose Barrios, numbered to 250. Still no jersey cards, but uh, we're not even halfway through this, I don't believe. Here is a uh, this uh, bag that just kind of fell apart right there. Next, so uh, Bowman 30th anniversary of Joey Bart. I guess that's the 30th anniversary of uh, the 89 oversized cards. Is that one oversized? No, <laughs> thankfully that was the uh, the right size of the card. Here we have a Manny Machado uh, optic, uh, whatever they call uh, a refractor. Of uh, that looks nice. Uh, Mark Apple, another Bowman, and uh, there we go. Glaber Torres, All-Star Game, Tops. Jack Flaherty. Yenis Cespedes, Back to the Future. Aaron Nola, a pitcher for the Phillies, uh, shows it's his first Bowman card. Luis Urias, rookie card. Osvaldo Duarte for the Hooks. That's Corpus Christi. What team do they belong to? Um, I don't know who the Corpus Christi Hooks are a part of now. But uh, next we have a Chris Sale, Top's Finest. That's a nice card. Okay. There are a couple layers in there, and we've just got to the first layer, and we've got a Trey Turner from the Nationals. I think we're going to end up with more than 40 cards, but we don't have a single jersey or autograph yet. We've got a uh, Brock Burke, first Bowman. That one's green. Is that a uh, parallel? <clears throat> Geraldo Perdomo, first Bowman. Robinson Cano tops fire. So that's a uh, fairly recent card, uh, numbered to 299. We have a uh, Brandon Lowe, Brian Reynolds. There's a Jake Odorizzi with the 150 year stamp on it. All star game. Carter Kaboom. And then this one is. Darwin's and Hernandez uh, showing the Arizona Fall League. It's an AFL card. So we're we're for the through the first half of that. Let's uh, not don't want to take everything out of here. Now we're getting to some uh, thicker cards. So maybe they uh, there were seven. Um, so far, maybe there's seven of each of the uh, the non-hits. And so we've got this uh, Will Myers commemorative logo patch card. And then a Trevor Story logo patch card. And then our first autograph of Carl Kaufman. Panini draft pick, University of Michigan. I do not know who this is. I do not know what team he played for, other than Michigan. Next up, we have a, uh, here's a, a our jersey card of Jameson Talion. Get the uh, team set bag open here without seeing who's in here. So, uh, what team was he from, other than Team USA? An 
upper deck card from 2009. Well, I guess it, he would have turned into a uh, someone by now if he was a prospect. But our next uh, auto is Josh Smith from LSU. Auto card for a uh, Panini Prism draft pick. And then what do we have? Oh, Jake Peavy. So a uh, uh, quite a good pitcher there from Upper Deck Spectrum. And we've got two more of these uh, three hit packs. So next we have a Nick Castellanos. USA star prospect jersey. So um, now there is a, a USA team member that did turn into somebody. So uh, longtime Tiger fans uh, just signed with the Reds. So uh, my wife is a Reds fan. Probably not going to care for this one since he's not <laughs> pictured as a Red on the card. But that's nice. Next we have a Jackie Robinson patch of Will Myers. So uh, for Jackie Robinson Day. Right there are... Are these serial numbered? No. And then next we have an autograph of Jose Vidro. So we have an autograph of someone that is uh, an actual uh, majorly good player there for a while. So a top certified autograph issue has an, an expo stamp with 50 years on it. Numbered 43 of 50. So I like that throwback design. That was a 2019 uh, release, or at least the, that's the, the number on it. And then our last three cards, let me check in there, that's the last one in here. And who do we have here? Corbin Martin. Uh, autographed Astros, and that's that's nice. We've got something in a, a thicker top loader coming up, so uh, hopefully keep getting better here. So I like the, uh, the special I forgot what they, it's not a refractor, but I forgot what they call the, the, the flashy look on that one. And this is, um, numbered 52 of 63. Next up. Oh, wow. That is a nice card. A Vlad Guerrero three different Jersey patch card. We're going to hide that one for a moment. And, uh, I was a little disappointed at first when I saw all of the, uh, the the Team USA players, but no complaints about this one. We've got a, a Panini Vlad Guerrero three patch card, absolute baseball. And so, what do we have last in this thickest top loader? It's uh, got a, a top seal on it. We have a certified Dave Steeb. Tops Archive Signature Series Certified Autograph 2019, numbered 6 of 15. And I remember him as a uh, big star of when I was first uh, watching uh, baseball in the 80s. So that is an uh, 1984, if I remember, that's an 84 design of Dave Steeb, numbered to 15. So... This must be one of their buyback cards. You can see the corners here is um, mint uh, condition. So I don't know if this is a reprint or if it's they, they went out and bought it, an old version of the card and then just added the autograph, added the stamp onto it. But that is a nice, looking at these two right here, I am uh, thinking that is uh, quite the lot that we've got here. So yeah, I was a little worried at first, but this got to be uh, a nice, nice collection. for. Uh, so all this was... Twenty-seven dollars, and the uh, the seller made about twenty uh, off of all these. So hopefully he got these for a good price, and he's making money too, so he can keep on doing that. But I will say that uh, I was impressed with this lot. Uh, if you were to order it today, you might not get as lucky because he's kind of changed the deal a little bit. But um, uh, I think it's very nice. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.